Let me just take you back to when I was 11. When I was scared of dying. Scared of wasting the only time I have on this planet. And there was that question of, what do you want to be when you grow up? A question that would always make me stay up late and just, just think for hours. I remember just watching the seconds tick by, one after another, after another. I don't know why I was that obsessive and I don't know why I was that scared. But I remember that just thinking about who I could be gave me so much hope. And you know that thing where, where people give you ideas? Like, oh, maybe you could be a writer, or a teacher, or a tennis player, or a musician, or a designer, or a doctor, or an apple picker. <laughs> people would just give me all these ideas and Although they were all perfectly valid, they just, they weren't exactly what I wanted to do. But the annoying thing was, I didn't know what I wanted to do exactly. I just knew that the suggestions people gave me, they just didn't fit with, with, with me. I remember this one night, where I was, I was so close to just stopping. I had this thing that I loved, but I felt like I had no direction. And to be honest, that scared me a lot. It was almost like I was, I was blind and I would wander my thoughts just trying to scrape up ambition, inspiration, and happiness. I remember talking to my dad about this and I remember exactly what he said. The only person that is stopping you, the only person that can stop you from being who you dream to be, is you. At the end of your life, you can only answer to yourself, and if you look back wishing you had done this or that, the only person you can blame is you. I still look at the time. <laughs> I, I still watch the seconds, just just tick away, but I don't get scared anymore, and when people ask me that question, I smile because I finally think I have the answer. <laughs>